The Living Planet Programme (LPP) is a program within the European Space Agency which is managed by the Earth Observation Programmes Directorate. LPP consists of two classes of Earth observation missions listed below, including research missions known as Earth Explorers and the Earth Watch class of missions whose objective is to develop support operational applications such as numerical weather forecasting or resource management. Topic: <laughs> List of Earth Explorers missions. Topic Selected Missions Currently there are eight approved Earth Explorer missions, four of which are in orbit and operating. GOCE, Gravity Field and Steady State Ocean Circulation Explorer, it was launched on 17 March 2009. SMOS, Soil Moisture and Ocean Salinity Satellite will study ocean salinity and soil moisture, it was launched on 2 November 2009. Cryosat, a program designed to map the Earth's ice cover. CRYOSAT-1 was lost in 2005 when the Russian SS-19 Rocco launch vehicle malfunctioned and was terminated. CRYOSAT-2 was launched on 8 April 2010. SWARM, a trio of satellites to map the Earth's magnetic field. The SWARM constellation was launched successfully on of November 2013. EOLIS, the atmospheric dynamics mission EOLIS will use an innovative laser to measure global winds. EOLIS was successfully launched on the 22nd of August 2018. EarthCare, Earth Clouds Aerosols and Radiation Explorer will examine the formation and effects of clouds. Due for launch in 2021. Biomass satellite designed to calculate the amount of carbon stored in the world's forests and to monitor for any changes over the course of its 5-year mission. Due to launch in 2021. FLEX, the Fluorescence Explorer mission will globally monitor steady state chlorophyll fluorescence in terrestrial vegetation. It is envisaged to launch in 2023. Candidate missions There are two ongoing competitions for the Earth Explorer 9 and Earth Explorer 10 missions. Topic: <laughs> Earth Explorer 9 candidates. Forum: Far Infrared Outgoing Radiation Understanding and Monitoring, a mission to measure Earth's outgoing radiation emissions across the entire far infrared electromagnetic spectrum, in order to gain insight into water vapor and cirrus cloud regulation of the planet's surface temperature. SKIM – Sea Surface Kinematics Multiscale Monitoring, a mission to measure ocean surface currents using the Doppler technique, in order to improve understanding of the ocean current dynamics behind the hydrological and geochemical cycles, the winning candidate is currently projected to launch in 2025. Earth Explorer 10 candidates Stereoid, a synthetic aperture radar satellite that aims to further the study of ocean circulation patterns, glacial dynamics, and changes in land surface topography. Daedalus, a mission to study the electrodynamic processes of the Earth's thermosphere and ionosphere. 
G-Class, a geosynchronous synthetic aperture radar satellite that aims to observe diurnal water cycle processes, in order to improve weather prediction capabilities, the winning candidate is currently projected to launch in 2027 or 2028. Topic: Non-selected missions. Past candidate missions that were not selected include Core A2O, a mission to study key characteristics in terrestrial snow, ice, and water cycles and their relations to climate change and variability. Competed with Biomass and Premier for the Earth Explorer 7 mission opportunity. Premier, a mission to study atmospheric processes related to trace gas, radiation, and chemical compositions in the mid to upper troposphere and lower stratosphere in order to understand their role on climate change. Competed with Biomass and Core A2O for the Earth Explorer 7 mission opportunity. Carbonsat, a mission to determine the global distributions of carbon dioxide and methane and their impact on climate change. Competed with FLEX for the Earth Explorer 8 mission opportunity.